Is it nice? That's for you. It's your drink. It's your drink. Coconut. Coconut. Coconut drink. Good morning, guys, from our beautiful room here in Batangas. We are st look how big it is. I still can't get over the size of this place. We're staying at Azure by Vivere. Oh, no, I think it's a bit Vivere. Yeah, good accent, Lucy. So, a quick confession, guys. This may be breakfast food, yes, but the time is, in fact, 12.30. I'm not entirely sure what happened, but basically we went to bed. I, I, you're probably sick of hearing me talk about times and stuff. I haven't stopped talking about it. You want to go to bed? You didn't Brilliant. last night. Code basically was up for like four hours again in the middle of the night. So we slept. I set an alarm for nine because I thought that's like late enough to kind of adjust. I thought it was a good idea. The alarm didn't go off. Well, it went off, but the sound didn't come on for some reason. So it's now really late and we said... We called the guy here and we said, I know it's not breakfast time, but is there any way we can have some breakfast food so we can like try and have like a normalish day even though it's starting later? No problem, hey. all good. So here's our breakfast. So we've got, is it heavy? Do you want to put it on the table? So I have a Filipino breakfast. I've got beef tapa here. So you get, they did it with bacon as well, which I've never had. So we've got some bacon, some beef, some garlic rice, eggs. I, ha I ordered extra eggs as well because I eat a lot of eggs. And then Coda got a, Ham and cheese omelette, which also came with a little bit of bacon. Got eggs. Maybe that's the ham. Got eggs. Coda's got eggs. Yeah, you're telling everyone. And then Lucy got the mushroom omelette. We're just going to eat our breakfast here, overlooking this incredible view that we have. I mean, what better way to start the day than a view like this? And then we're going to bring you along once again for a day in the Philippines, in paradise. The sun is shining, blue skies today, no clouds. We're gonna swim, we're gonna eat. I'm gonna I wanna show you everything we eat today. I think that's gonna be fun. So hopefully you can hear me with the wind noise, it's very windy, which is actually quite good, it's keeping me a bit cooler. But we've come down to the beach now and it's just amazing how lovely this beach is. The water is super clear and turquoise and I just love the backdrop of the mountains. This, come down here, because this, this um, beach, there's so much different like rocks here. Like look at this one for example. All the different types of rock in that, like I'm quite into my geography, I quite enjoy it. There's coral everywhere as well, like loads of tiny pieces. And Coda and I have just been collecting it and throwing it back in the sea. Um, but like, look at this, like, it's a huge piece of coral just on the beach. Pretty much the whole beach is made up of coral, which is just really cool. All these crazy shapes in the stones. Is the water warm? The water is warm. Yeah, it's not hot, hot, but it's very comfortable. Like, it's really nice and really nice temperature. Yeah, it's interesting. <laughs> Never thought we'd do like a, a rock section on the vlog, but it, it is interesting because. Philippines is known for like the white sand beaches and like clearly this isn't a white sand beach but it has its own beauty and it has its own charm and different parts, well different parts of the country have different types of beaches obviously you got Boracay and it's like beautiful the clearest white sand you will ever see in your life but then you can come here you can see the mountains, the rocks it's just a different experience it's like when you go to Bali and the beach is black sand and like to me that's really interesting as well it's so cool to experience different things and just be right down here especially as the resort is so built up as you probably saw we walked many many steps to get down here from our room keeping fit as always after that delicious filipino breakfast but yeah it's just actually the sand is quite dark it's kind of a gray sand here yeah i mean it's oh it's super hot it's powdery soft, but it's like, it's like grey. 
It looks like pepper. You know, since, since becoming a parent, life is very different. And I don't remember the last time I sat on a bean bag at the beach and just was still and just watched and just took it easy for like 30 seconds. It will last all of 30 seconds probably. Ah, but this is so nice. This place is also only two and a half hours from Manila, if you get lucky with the traffic, which we did yesterday. And I think like your, your kind of average tourist maybe skips places like this because they want to go and travel the islands. And I, like, I understand that because if your time is restricted in the country, then yeah, maybe you do want to go and see El Nido, Barakai, Cebu, maybe you want to do, you know, the, the more typical tourist stuff. But if you have the time, or if you want to do something a little bit different, like there's no other kind of Western tourists here that I've seen anywhere. If you want to kind of more of a, I'm going for words like genuine and authentic, but it's not that the other experiences aren't genuine and authentic, but it, this is kind of a more Filipino experience, I guess. Like Filipino tourists will come here from Manila for the weekend or for a week or, it's kind of more, you're more kind of integrating in the country and the culture by coming somewhere like this. And I have to say, it has changed so much since we started traveling in the Philippines. I remember internet speed, for example. We're like, you know, we're up here in the mountains, we've driven far out, the ocean is just there ahead of us and we're on this little beach. We've got 100 meg internet here, 100 meg download, and I think the upload was even faster. I remember 2018, 2019, internet in the Philippines just was not Good. It just was not fast. Uh, we struggled to upload vlogs when we were traveling. We'd have to stay up really late or get up really early or upload it overnight and hope that it would be on in time for the next night. I remember holding laptops up like nearer to try and get a better Wi-Fi signal, trying to upload off our phones in the car and stuff like that. But now everywhere we go, it seems, Kim and Tom's Airbnb and BGC, like. You'd think in a city you'd be able to rely on the internet speed, but even BGC back in the day, we struggled to find good internet, but their internet at their Airbnb was super fast. Also, making it easier to travel. I've been using my phone to pay for everything. So in the UK, I'm so used to just having my phone using Apple Pay to pay contactless. Couldn't do that in the Philippines a few years ago. Couldn't even use contactless card sometimes. You had to put the card in, do the pin number, or back in the day we had to get Gcash or use actual cash. You remember like cash, like paper money, I know, but now we can use Apple Pay and we just, just tap. So traveling in the Philippines is becoming a lot easier and it's just those kind of little things that make the whole thing a lot smoother. Oh, <laughs> this is lovely, very relaxing, nice and warm. Thinking about getting some fruit, maybe? Yes. Getting some fruit? Mango. Mango, watermelon. Papaya is very good for you. It's got, yeah. what's the name? Uh, there's, there's an enzyme in papaya that's really good for digestion apparently so I can't remember the name of it maybe I'll put it on screen if I remember but yeah feeling whoopsies I think we're gonna head up to the pool area in a second because it is a lovely beach but it's quite choppy um, so it's not like a relaxing swim so for Coda I think it's gonna be better at the pool and then we're gonna think about some more food but this is really cool I, I oh that's what I can tell you guys I don't know if I said yesterday, I think I ended the vlog yesterday talking about the stars in the sky and obviously we spent a few days in Manila where it's kind of a bit, is it smoggy the word? It's like more polluted and like you don't see as many sky, uh, sty, skies in the sky. Skies in the sky. Stars in the sky. Oh dear, yeah. still getting used to it. As in being in a different time zone, not talking. So we're not used to seeing as many stars but driving a couple of hours out of Manila, we're now suddenly somewhere where you get photos like this. Do you see my story? You've not seen it? So I went on the balcony last night during like the, one of the hours when Coda was awake and I took some photos on my phone with, so I've got the iPhone 15 Pro, not the Max, like the normal size one, I don't want a big phone, I feel like it doesn't fit anywhere. Anyway, and I put it on night mode Max, which is a 10 second exposure one, I put it on high exposure and then I just held my phone super still, then I went into my phone's editor and brought all the colours and all the brightness back down again, so it sort of brought the stars out. And I managed to get these photos on an iPhone. It looks like a telescope or something. It was just so impressive and it really makes you think how little your eyes actually see. Because when you look up, we saw like maybe 10 to 12 stars with our eyes. But on my phone, there's like millions of stars coming out, um, which is really, really cool. Have a look on my story quickly and have a look. I'm just doing some really vain like Instagram selfie at the moment. Who's that? It's Kuya. Kuya. Say hi, Kuya. Hi, Kuya. Oh, say louder. Hi, Kuya. 
<laughs> Lucy D'Agostino. On the boat. I'll follow you as well while I'm here. On the boat. There's a boat, darling, yeah. You see the boat? Oh, wow. It's better when you're It's a bit dark. bright. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. That is insane. That's really, really cool. <laughs> Whenever Coda walks upstairs, or big steps, he goes like, oh, oh. he makes all these noises. And we don't know if he's heard us doing it. Like when we're walking, we're like, ah, yes, like get up the steps. Or if he like genuinely is making the sounds because that's what some humans do. I think it's more that he's copying us. I love the shower. shower. Oh yeah. Now we have to shower first. Orange. orange! So we've got a little fruit platter by the pool now. We've got some orange, some pineapple and some watermelon. Mmm. Is it yummy? My Nothing better than fresh fruit in the sun. And the fruit in the Philippines is unbelievable as we know. If I had a boat, I would sail out. Take every brother I think we have done so many steps on this trip already, I know. which is good because More than we're, in England. we're eating a lot. We're coming for our next meal now, which is one of my favourites actually, lunch. It's probably <laughs> up there in my top three. So my current thing I'm trying to teach Koda is the difference of ate and kuya. So I'm like saying to him over and over again, a girl is called ate, a boy is called kuya. And he's starting to understand it and he's even putting on a little accent as well. It's so sweet. Um, so like pronouncing it properly, but um, this is beautiful. So right down by the water side again for some lunch, late lunch, because of our late wake up this morning. But um, I really love these pink flowers down here. I'm not sure what they're called, but it's so nice contrasting with the bright blue sea. The sun is shining. There's people down here currently enjoying the snorkeling which looks cool. I wonder sort of what fish and things are in this water. Going down very well. What do you have? What is it? And he knows this is- Mango. Mango. And what's the music? What music is it? <laughs> piano. Piano, he knew um, this was piano music. What do we call a girl? What's a girl called? <laughs> Jake's face and gives me the answer. What's the girl called? Gua. Oh, nearly darling, Ate. A boy is called Gua. Yeah, we're getting there, aren't we? Getting there. I reckon in two days, we'll have nailed it. Yeah. Can Daddy have some? Ate. <laughs> Ate. Oh, there you go. What do you say, what do you say, Koda? There we go. What do you say? Thank you very much, thank you. <laughs> The British boy came back out. Yeah, thank you very much indeed. Here we go, here we go, new straw. How good does all this look? Really good. I've got the um, soy chicken with garlic rice. Three fried eggs, <laughs> some more eggs. <laughs> as I said, I do eat a lot of eggs. Koda. Too many eggs, but- No um, such thing as too many eggs. Such thing apparently. Koda has- a Nice bit of pan seared salmon here. Put some lemon on it, some veggies oh. for Koda. This is actually the perfect meal for him. He loves potato, salmon and broccoli, your favorite. Do you want some broccoli? Do you think they have a plastic bowl for kids? Maybe. And yours quickly? Do you have? And I've got the Japanese uh, like teriyaki chicken with some egg fried rice. Cheers. 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 Broccoli boy. Who are you cheersing? Me? Kind of. Just cheersing oh, everyone cheers really. Cheers to everyone. Yum. Salmon? Thank, Thank you. you. What do you say? Mango. What do you say? Thank you. Thank you for your mango. Now I can't actually wait for Dad and Claire to experience Philippines mangoes. Oh, that's good. Mangoes be... in England are pathetic. I think we need to dedicate like an hour, like yeah. where we fully appreciate a mango each. Yeah. Or several. Yes. But honestly, the ones in England are like odd, like red and green, massive things that just taste like. I, can't, I don't even know what they're they're not they taste that like. Good. like. I can't even remember. Like a really bland, flat version of this, but almost like a different fruit they taste. Almost like it's not ripe. Yeah. But no, because then you, these, you can have these as sour mangoes, like green mangoes, and that's quite mm. nice. But it's different, it's just like no flavour at all. Here you go, mommy sips some mango. Yummy. Mommy hold it down. <laughs> <You've so finished. laughs> Oh, 
just trying to order dinner. Can you ask what you want? Mega. Pasta, please. A swimming pool. You went in the swimming pool? Yeah. A swimming pool. Yeah, a pork synagogue. Goes all the way. Do you think it's going to arrive? Well, with the fact that the cable's there still yeah, and the phone's there, I, I think know. it's unlikely. Okay. Daddy, do it. I've forgotten the drinks um, order. I remember like the, the three food only order. shakes that ever are. Mango shake. Mm. Okay. Watermelon shake. Pineapple shake. Only fruit. No sugar, no milk, right? Correct. Okay, let me do that. Hi, I'd like to order some room service, please. Thank you. Uh, please do that. Can you put in an accent? What Do you an American? American accent, yeah, sure. Oh my god, no, because they actually no, know they, that, they know, we're in they the know room. you're British. It's so awkward. So I do a really posh British accent. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hello, good evening. Could we please order some? No, actually do, actually, do it. Actually do it. I'm just getting into character. Actually do it. Actually do it. Mm, yes, mm, yes. I'd like the uh, pork synagogue, please. Hello. Pork <laughs> <laughs> No, I can't do that. I can't do that. You can. You've gone shy. Do do this is George's shy face. This is, I'm in my shy era. <laughs> my shearer. Just do I'm it, in my do Alan Shearer. Do it, do it, do it. No, I'm not doing it. Do it, everyone's waiting. He's, he's, he's psyching himself up. Look, he's psyching himself up. He's like finger, hovering oh, over the oh, button. Oh, I can't even remember the food now. Cheese. Cheese. Do it, George. I expect you to do it. <laughs> Good evening. Could we please order dinner to the room? <laughs> Thank you so much. It's uh, Casa Isabella. It's not posh, what are you doing? Could we please have one pork synagogue? That's just you. And one uh, pork bolognese. Yeah, yeah, that would be great. What's... Mm -hmm. <coughs> Liam Po, yeah. Oh, wow, nice. Okay. Wow, okay, okay, that sounds really good. Is that, uh, is that for two people? Nice, okay. And can you make sure it's like lots of meat? Yeah, that'd be great because we, we love, we're big meat eaters. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and then we'll just have the grilled food. That sounds amazing. All right, thank you so much. Thank you very much. Oh, and can, sorry, can I order, uh, add drinks? <laughs> thank you, bye. It's grill night, baby. Oh, nice. That's what that was down there. We saw like a setup at the beach earlier. Nice, and we just ordered loads of Maybe meat. Maybe we should have just gone down there. No, it comes with, um, there's some pasta it comes with. There's rice it comes with, there's dessert that's coming, wow. there's um, pork liempo, there's shrimp kebab, there's some other stuff, they're going to bring his bolognese. Nice. So thank you very much. Unplug it. Pineapple, yeah. Right straight to the shakes, couldn't wait. Oh, well done. Good Boy, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> And that one, yeah, well done. Yeah, yeah. Wow, guys, our feast has arrived. We've got some shrimp pasta. Coda's got his bolognese there. And then here we have some pork liempo, some, I think, grilled fish, some prawns. Oh, maybe that's chicken. Oh, maybe it's fish. We've got our rice over there. Not sure what this is, but we'll try it. Yeah, we'll have that after our food, darling. And then, of course, we've got our shakes and they bought a little bit of dessert after. Delicious. Hey, guys, it's so peaceful out here. I've just come out here to sign off today's vlog. I want to thank you all so much for watching. I was replying to loads of comments on the last couple of videos today and there were so many people who were commenting, end of vlog club. So comment again, let's keep going with that. I love seeing who is watching the vlogs to the very end. We've also been uploading longer vlogs, you may have noticed, which I also saw a lot of comments that a load of you like that. So if longer vlogs are your thing, you're welcome. The camera's actually making it look brighter than it is kind of in real life, which is really weird. Look at those clouds. I can't, I can, I can kind of see the clouds, but I can see them more on the screen here. There's no one around. I think people have kind of all gone back to their rooms. There's no one in the pool or anything. So yeah, gonna end this one off today we drive back to bgc tomorrow and then it's only a couple of days until lucy's dad and stepmom come and join us which we're just so excited for we're just so so excited to um share the philippines with them and, and for them to get a first-hand idea of what it is we've been up to for the last how long have we been coming here since 2018 18 19 20 over oh, we've been coming here not for seven years but 
over seven years, in seven different years. No way, seven. That's unbelievable. I need to tell Lucy that. No way. We've been coming to the, we've been in the Philippines in seven different years. 18, I need to count again. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. I can't believe that. In my head, it's still like three. That's crazy. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. End of vlog club. Get the comments on. We'll see you in the next vlog very, very soon. Goodbye.